How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Cheap Wheels. Today what we're going to do is we're going to put a new muffler and a new tailpipe on this F-150. It's going to be an easy job and we're going to save a ton of money. Stay tuned. Now on this particular truck we don't have any muffler whatsoever. We just have the tailpipe. If you look at this tailpipe, here you can see the rest of it. Uh, it's definitely a non-salvageable part. From the tailpipe, if we go over here, we're going to find that we have no muffler whatsoever. And then over here on the other end is the catalytic converter. Now the catalytic converter on this truck is still there, but where the muffler was, it's been cut right off. It didn't rust off, someone cut it off. So what we're going to do first is we're going to remove this tailpipe. Then over here where the muffler and the catalytic converter meet, what we're probably going to do there is put in a short section of pipe. But this is going to be one of the hardest parts. We've got to get this hanger apart. But there's a kind of a flared metal rod that goes through these things and we've got to get that rubber over that flared end. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper and I'm going to clean off those kind of mushroom shaped ends. Now we're going to put a little bit of oil on that mushroomed area, see if we can't slide that rubber mount off. Now the reason I'm using this kind of oil is it's uh, real easy to get the tip of that oil right up into this area. Maybe these channel locks can be helpful to force that rubber pushing. Oh there we go. There we go. There's one side off. Kind of hard to get oil on this one. Oh, we're almost there. There we go. Woo -hoo. Now there's a better look at that hanger system. Now since as I took these off with the exhaust pipe, I'm gonna have to take these off and reinstall them in the truck. It should be a lot easier to get them off while they're out like this and not up into such a tight space. A little bit of oil, a little bit of wiggling, come right off. Now that we have our rubber exhaust hangers taken off, we're going to be ready to install these on our new tailpipe. Now here's the parts we're going to need. We're going to need a new tailpipe. We're also going to need enough exhaust clamps to make all the connections that we're going to need to make. We're also going to need a ratchet with the right size deep well socket to fit our exhaust clamp nuts. We're going to need a replacement muffler and a short section of exhaust pipe. Now when it comes to doing your exhaust work, the biggest problem is always matching up the pipe. There's two inch inside diameter, two inch outside diameter, two and a quarter ID, two and a quarter OD, two and a half ID, two and a half OD and on and on and on and when you go in to buy your parts and pieces there's going to be a million different options so it's best to sit around with a pad and a paper and figure out exactly what you need before you go in and start looking for pipe it can be a frustrating experience finding all the right stuff <laughs> well we're in place anyway I almost forgot I gotta get this one too. Nice. Gonna put our hangers back on. This pipe is supposed to be an exact, exact fit. There's one. There we go. Okay, that's all hung in place. Now let's hook up this section. That was easy. From here, we should be able to take and put our muffler in. So there's the catalytic converter. There's the muffler and our piece of pipe is... Well, it's about perfect. Well now the big question is, am I going to be able to push that tailpipe back far enough to get that exhaust hooked together. Unfortunately, after trying for five minutes, the answer was no. Okay, now that I've test fit everything, I think that all my parts and pieces are just about perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that short section of pipe up against the catalytic converter, then I'm gonna put the muffler on, then I'm gonna reinstall the tailpipe. So there's my catalytic converter. Here's my short piece of pipe. I'm gonna put that on, get that on there as far as it's gonna go. I feel good right about there, and from there, I will slide my muffler on, 
That looks about right. Down on this end, I will take my tailpipe. Okay, I think I'm in there about as good as I need to be. And now I will hook the tailpipe back up into the tailpipe hangers. And we'll kind of line everything up and clamp it, and we'll be done. Now I gotta get that guy into that fitting. Okay, hey, <laughs> there we go. Now we have our whole new exhaust system. Here's our tailpipe. There is, there's where it's hung in there. There's our new muffler, and there's the catalytic converter down there. Now, it's my favorite part. Time to clamp this sucker up. Oh, that one's nice and snug. One thing I could tell you about doing your own exhaust work, it's a good idea to wear earplugs. Not because it's noisy generally, but because there's always a good chance of dropping something in your ear, like a little clod of dirt or some rust. It's happened more times than I care to count. You can see there was a little sag in this exhaust. I want to get that sag out before I tighten that down. I'll reach under, I'll give it just a little bit of a lift, and then we will tighten these up. Squashed pretty good. I feel pretty confident with that. Now a lot of guys will weld their exhaust as opposed to putting clamps on it, but I'm not a welder, so I just use clamps. If you're a welder, by all means, tack that on there and do the best you can with it. Now the same thing goes down here. There's just a fuzz of, of sag in this exhaust. I'm just gonna lift up a little bit while I tighten these nuts down so that I'm not tightening this all up together purposely out of line. Mm -hmm. Feel good about that. Well, there you have it, just like that. Few clamps, a little bit of time spent on your back out in the front yard wrenching on stuff, and you've got a brand new exhaust. With $30 for the tailpipe, another $30 for the muffler, $10 for this short piece and the clamps. For $70 and an hour's worth of my time, I've got a new exhaust from the catalytic converter all the way back. Not to mention part of that hour was spent filming this for you guys. Doing your own exhaust work is simple and it's easy. It only requires patience and a little bit of time. Let's fire this thing up. Oh man, that sounds so much better. And just like that, I've saved 200 bucks on exhaust work. My name's Dave Whipple and you've been watching Cheap Wheels. Keep your junk on the road. See you soon.